Hi, welcome to Pop Culture Beasts Halloween Horror Picks. I'm your host, Ryan Stockstead, director of the upcoming horror movie Eggs, now funding on Kickstarter. And today we're going to talk about the feature length directorial debut of the man that Quentin Tarantino called the greatest living American director. No man that loves her lives to love another. Her sweet kisses engulf you in a bloody web of horror. Spider Baby will thrill you, then kill you. Starring Spider Baby and Lon Chaney. For the horror thrill of your life, see Spider Baby from American General Pictures. Spider Baby, or The Maddest Story Ever Told, was written and directed by Jack Hill, a filmmaker probably best known for his movies Coffee, uh, Foxy Brown, maybe The Big Bird Cage. Um, he also made um, Pit Stop, which I think is just criminally neglected. It's one of my favorite movies from the 60s, and I also highly recommend it. Part of the reason that Spider Baby works so well is the cast. I can't imagine anybody else playing these characters. The movie stars Lon Chaney Jr., uh, Carol Omart, Quinn Redeker, Beverly Washburn, uh, Jill Banner, Sid Haig, Mary Mitchell, and Carl Shanzer. They just combine their comedic and horror talents just beautifully. It's really a miracle of ensemble casting. Spider Baby is my favorite horror comedy of all time uh, because it's both funny and scary. Most horror comedies uh, succeed at delivering the laughs, but they fail to deliver the scares. This movie does both. The film opens with Mantan Moreland, uh, an actor, you know, definitely known for his comedy, and he's just brutally and ruthlessly stabbed to death in the opening sequence. Uh, it's a great moment because it lets the audience know that the film uh, means business. It's not just here to make you laugh. She very cleverly drains the vital juices from the bug's body. And that makes the bug stop squiggling. Would that make her stop squiggling? <laughs> Help me find something sharp. The film was shot in 1964 under the title Cannibal Orgy, but the producers went bankrupt before it could be released. Uh, the movie had been largely financed using real estate dollars, and when the Los Angeles housing bubble burst, the producers were broke. Their assets, including the film, were tied up in legal entanglements, and the movie wasn't released until 1968, when it played uh, the drive-in circuit uh, under multiple titles. When it played as the B-side to Hell's Chosen Few, it was called Spider Baby. And when it played as the B-side to The Bloodsuckers, it was called The Liver Eaters. It's worth noting the uh, opening credit sequence. Lon Chaney actually sings the theme song, uh, which was composed by Ronald Stein, who also provided just a gorgeous and lush uh, score for the film. It's hard to watch Spider Baby without becoming just mesmerized by the beautiful and talented Jill Banner. Uh, she turns in such a compelling and enigmatic performance. It's really a joy to watch. But I guess bugs don't like spiders very much. I like spiders. I like spiders. Sadly, she died tragically in 1982 when she was just 35 years old. Uh, she'd been in a terrible car accident on the Pacific Coast Highway in Malibu, and she later died at the uh, Riverside Hospital uh, in North Hollywood. She had been dating Marlon Brando at the time, and uh, reportedly he lingered uh, at her grave during the funeral long after the other mourners had left. Uh, he confessed later in his autobiography, Songs My Mother Taught Me, that um, of all the women he'd ever been in love with, uh, Jill was his favorite, um, that, that she was the one he most loved. And it's really not hard to see why when you watch this movie. 
Now, the version of the movie that I watched is the uh, Director's Cut DVD that Dark Sky Films put out in 2007. Uh, but if you have a Region B or Region Free Blu-ray player, Arrow Video put out a UK Blu-ray in 2013 that's reportedly quite good. Uh, I want to mention that uh, my copy is autographed by Jack Hill and Sid Haig. It says, To Ryan, Best Wishes, Sid Haig. Um, I got this at the, uh, the 2009 screening at the New Beverly Theater, and uh, Sid told the audience that there are only three directors he would drop anything to work for. Quentin Tarantino, Rob Zombie, and Jack Hill. Just a quick plug to another horror comedy that I recently watched, Mutantis from Dire Wit Films. Just came out, it was directed by Kelly Fitzgerald, and uh, it's, it's quite ridiculous. It sort of blends uh, a goofy trauma movie with uh, the comic wit of Trey Parker and Matt Stone, and of all things, the French erotic 70s classic, La Bette. Um, I know you wanna see that, so uh, check it out. It's called uh, Mutantis. See, nature perverted beyond comprehension. Luke! See, mutantics. Thanks again for watching Pop Culture Beasts Halloween Horror Picks. I'm Ryan Stockstead, director of the upcoming horror movie Eggs, uh, starring Lynn Lowry from Shivers and The Crazies, and Dwayne Whitaker from Pulp Fiction. Uh, we got a Kickstarter campaign going right now. Please go support us. If you like horror movies, we could really use your support. And to encourage you to go check it out, uh, we have a contest, as we do with every episode. Uh, be the first person to go to Kickstarter, make a pledge of a dollar or more. It can be any amount, it can be only one dollar, that's fine. Make a pledge, and then leave a comment in the Kickstarter comment section. Tell us you watched Halloween Horror Picks, the uh, Spider Baby episode, and uh, tell us the movie that's referenced in the shirt that I'm wearing in the episode. Do that and we'll add a special prize to whatever reward you're claiming. Uh, you can also like us on Facebook, you can follow us on Twitter, uh, you can uh, also follow the Pop Culture Beast page on Twitter, and be sure to uh, subscribe to the Pop Culture Beast YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, thanks again for watching. Watch horror movies. I'll see you next episode.